Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we are going to implement a simple factorial server. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to send a number from the client to our factorial server. Then the server will take that number and perform some computation and calculate its factorial and send that factorial as a result back to the client. Okay. So it is uh, pretty much uh, same as our eco application. So this will just reinforce our concepts, uh, whatever we have learned so far, right? So uh, I've created a new project over here uh, with the name factorial server and inside that I've created factorial client and factorial server and I've kept the basic construct as it is. Okay. So this part is same as our eco application. Okay. And we're going to continue from here, right? So let's start off uh, with our factorial client now. Okay, uh, the first thing which I'm going to do over here is read a number from the keyboard. Okay, so the user will have to enter a number. So we are going to use a buffer reader over here. So buffer reader user input is equal to new buffer reader, new input stream reader, system.in. So we've already seen what means. So let me just import the classes. Okay, so after creating the buffer reader, we'll ask the user to enter a number. Right. And after that, we are going to read that number. Now just observe over here what I've done. I've written int, int number is equal to integer dot parse int. And inside that I'm writing the statement user input dot read line. And why is that? That is because a uh, read line uh, is a method which returns string, right? So whatever uh, we enter that it will consider it as a string, right? But in this case, we want to uh, treat this string as a number, right? So we'll convert that string to a number because we are, we are sure that uh, the user will be entering uh, any integer value, right? So we'll have to convert uh, that string to an integer value. So for that, I've written integer dot percent and inside that I'm passing the string value, right? So we have the number which the user has entered and now we are going to send this number to the server. So for that, I'm going to use a print writer again, the same thing which we did in the previous tutorial, right? And then out dot print and number. So this will send the number to the server. So let's go back to the server. Now here we are going to read that uh, number. So again, uh, okay, before doing that, we'll just write a calculate factorial method. Okay, so this uh, method will be used for calculating the factorial. So it will take uh, a number as input. Okay. And there will be some logic for it, right? So this logic uh, will calculate or compute the factorial of that particular number and return the factorial value right now. Okay. So on the client side, we are sending the number. So on the server side, we need to get that number, right? So we'll again use a buffer reader. Okay. And we'll import the classes. Now we'll read the number again, the same thing, because uh, this is an integer, we'll have to convert uh, the string to an integer. Okay, so we are parsing it. And after that, I'm going to send this number. Okay, to the client, not the same number, but the factorial of that particular number, right? So we are going to compute the factorial. So I'm saying out dot print and factorial of number is calculate factorial number. So this method will be invoked and the result of that uh, will be sent to the client, right? So we are done with our server side code. Now let's go back to the client. So over here, we are uh, again going to use a buffer reader for reading the data. And we're just going to print the result on the screen, right? So this application uh, will uh, send a number from the client to the server, then the server will send back the factorial of that number to the client, right? So let's uh, try running this application. So we'll have to run the server first. And again, uh, the same issue which we faced last time. Okay, so we'll have to terminate everything over here. Okay. And let's try it. Okay. So first we are running the server and then we are running the client and it says connection established. Okay, now let's go back to the client. It is asking us to enter a number. Let's say I enter five 
and the factorial of 5 is uh, if you calculate it is 120 so let's check what we get as the output okay and yes the output is factorial of 5 is 120 so this computation is happening on the server side right and the server is sending us this message so our factorial uh, server application is working fine if you like my tutorials do subscribe to my youtube channel so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you for watching